These are two Google Business Profile automations that you can leave on autopilot and can increase your calls by 520%. Let's get to it. number one, an automation that uploads your Instagram images into your Google Business Profiles. But why do we want to do this? Well, a magical thing happens when you upload over 100 images to your Google Business Profile. This seems to be the magical SEO threshold. And once you reach more than 100 images, you see a dramatic increase in calls, clicks, and traffic to that account. And this little SEO hack first came to light when Search Engine Land did a study on over half a million Google business profiles and they found an extremely strong correlation. With those Google business profiles that had over 100 images, these businesses tend to get 520% more calls than the average business, 2,717% more direction requests, and 1,065% more website clicks. That's the aim of the game for this automation. But we can't just upload 100 images at once. Google's a bit smarter than that these days. We need to do it over a period of time. And to do that automatically, we're going to do it with Pabli, which is another automation tool. Now, whilst I generally prefer Make or Zapier for these automations, Pabli has a very easy integration with Google Business Profiles. And connecting to Google Business Profiles can be a bit of a nightmare with Make. So do yourself a favor, save yourself the headache and get Pabli. Plus, you can try it out. You get 100 tasks free when you first sign up, which is technically enough for this. What we're going to do is create a new workflow. We're going to name this Instagram to Google Business Profile, and we're going to go to create. The first application that we need to search for is obviously Instagram. That is where we are getting the images. Instagram, we can go Instagram for businesses. You do need a business Instagram account, but if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you do. We need to select the trigger event and here, new media posted to my account. We're going to make that connection. I've got that connection saved. And now I need to choose the right account. I've got this one, AI ranking. And now I'm going to save and test. This will call the first bunch of media that I can try and use. And I can see that it chose uh, a couple of posts here. And the media is a video. And I've got the media URL, which is very, very important. You want media post type. And that is going to be the media URL that you can grab later on. But we can still do this with Reels, which is use the thumbnail if you've got one, which is very easy to do. Next, we need the final one, which is Google Business Profile. This automation is so simple, but it's so, so powerful. So what we're going to do is search for Google Business Profile. You need to upload an image or a media photo. You can upload a media video as well, which kind of tends to be the same thing as well. So why not? Let's try to update a video and I'll show you how that looks. I'm going to connect Google Business Profile. And now I need to select the location that I'm in charge of from my Google Business Profile. You obviously need to be an admin on that account. I'm going to choose one uh, here, my here and I'm going to have to show that at the moment this Google business profile doesn't have any images uploaded. If I go to the photos, there's nothing there, right? Uh, what I need to use is the source URL here. So I need to pick where the data is for the video. So here is the media URL. That's the one that I need to pick. And the category, we're just gonna go at work. So depending on what type of images you upload to your Instagram account, you might have to change this here. And we're just going to save and send the request. Okay, and it seems that everything went through correctly. There's no error messages. Let's go to your, the Google business profile. Let's refresh it and let's see if the video is in fact been uploaded in there. I go to photos. And there we are, there's the image video pending. So it's uploading, it might take a while or two, but already now I don't have to worry about it. I just need to casually and gradually upload my videos or my images to my Instagram account. And soon my Google business profile will have a hundred images and the calls, the traffic will start flooding in. Number two is turning a blog post from your website into a Google business profile post. You see, we know that Google loves updated content. And by keeping your Google business profile updated with frequent posts, at least once every seven days, we take advantage of this. And this can be an incredible strategy if you want to outrank your competitors, particularly in a competitive market. So we're gonna use Pabli to do the same thing. 
And before we get into that, we need an API key from Open Router. I've done many videos about Open Router, but essentially this allows you to access every single large language model with one single API key, making things very, very efficient. And we can also connect it to Pabli, so there's a win here. You're gonna make an account with Open Router. You need some credits in there. You can add in five, $5 worth. It doesn't have to be 27 like I've got on the screen. And you're going to create an API key, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine YouTube and I'm going to create. It's gonna give me little API key. So we're gonna need that in a second. Make sure you save that somewhere where you don't forget it. What we wanna do is start a create a new workflow inside Pabli. And I wanna go blog to Google business posts. The first thing you need in, is an RSS feed. You need a way to be able to collect the blog posts that have been published in your domain or in your website's blog section. I'm going to go to RSS here and Pabli has have an inbuilt one. And this will change the exact URL that I'm going to show you. It will change depending on the CMS. I'm on a Webflow website. It'll change if you're on a WordPress website, you need to do a little bit of Googling. You just find RSS feed URL for my website and you should find it right away. For example, mine looks like the following. I'm just gonna create a new uh, item feed. I'm gonna connect and enter the feed URL. You can see I've got arrankingschool.com, which is our website, forward slash post, forward slash RSS. This is gonna show me all the blog posts in that feed or the blog posts that I've published. I'm going to save and send a test. And ideally, I should see. Okay, now the next thing that I need to do is select open router. Remember the API key that we got? Well, we're gonna use that now. You can see it here and we are going to select an event and we're going to create a chat completion. We're going to connect it and here's where it's gonna ask you for that API key. I've already made a connection, but let's create a new connection so you can see how this works. API router to that token that you just pasted, you're going to paste there. I've got mine uh, saved over here. Boom. Now I've blurred this out for security purposes. I'm going to save this. And now for the model, this is very important. What you're going to choose is look up perplexity and you're going to look for perplexity sonar pro. This is a model that by default has access to the internet, which is what we're going to need at the moment. If I click on this HTTP referrer section, you can see that I've got some items from the previous selection. I can look for the name of the blog post here. And now I've got the right model. I've got the name of my website. And this is the key thing here. You want the role as a user. This will send the normal request as if you are just chatting with perplexity. And the prompt here is really, really important. I can see it's misspelled. So obviously I need to fix it a little bit, but let's go through this together so you understand it. Take the following content from this blog post URL, read it, understand it, then repurpose it for a Google My Business post. Ensure that it maintains the same tone of voice as in the blog post, but it is less than 1,500 characters in length. Otherwise it won't fit in the Google My Business post or Google Business Profile post. Only return the content of the Google Business Profile and nothing else. Otherwise it'll say, sure, here is the yada, 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 the content that we don't really need. And then I've placed the blog post of the URL there once again. Let me just fix this here so it's nice and clean and perfect. Now I can send and uh, send and test so I can see if the model from perplexity on open router is being called correctly. And now perfect, I can see the responses here. So let's see what it says. Curious about AI and how I can supercharge SEO. Perfect. So I can change this, for example, if I didn't like it because it got too kind of promotional, I can say to ensure you add all the value from the blog post into the Google business post. Okay, I've changed that a little bit. I'm going to retry this, retest this to see if I like the output that is generating a little bit more. This is up to you to test and try. You're more than welcome to use the prompt that I use, but I would recommend you change it a little bit. And let's see this one now. Perfect, this one gets to the point right away. It gets to the value and I like this a lot more. 
Okay, perfect. And then at the end, it even has a call to action. I can change the call to action to be learn more, click the learn more button below, but for the purposes of this video, it's fine now. And the final one that I need to add is obviously the Google Business Profile post. So I'm gonna to go to Google Business. I'm gonna find it here. And instead of adding a image or a video, the event is going to be create a call to action post. I'm going to connect. I've already got a connection here. I'm just gonna save this. Got the account. I need to select the location name. If you drop down here, you're going to see all of the accounts that you are uh, admin of. I'm gonna choose the account that we're testing out today. And then you enter the summary of the blog post, the summary of the post, meaning the output from Open Router. If I select on create chat completions, I can see here the message content that is the completion that Perplexity created for me. Uh, the topic is standard. The action type is going to be learn more. And finally, in the URL, we want to place in the URL of the original blog post because if they do want to learn more, they should go to that blog post. That's a sneaky little SEO trick to get a little bit more traffic as well. All we need to pick is the link from the original blog post that we got from the RSS feed. And now let's test this out. Currently, the last post was created 14 minutes ago for this account. You can see this here. I've been testing this for this video before this. So let's see, this one starts with curious about how to boost SEO. Let's just double check what the message, the uh, beginning of the message is going to be once we create this connection. Beginning of the message is going to be curious about SEO as well. Well, we're gonna see the timestamp difference anyway, so that's all right. But I want to test this out. They should have a new timestamp. I'm going to save and test the automation and it looks like everything is okay. Perfect, let's go to the Google My Business profile. So that says 40 minutes here. And there should be another one that looks the same and there you go. That's slightly different. This was 10 seconds ago. Done. Now I've got my automation going from my blog post every time I publish a blog post directly to Google My Business post. You just wanna make sure you save the whole thing and now you are good to go. Make sure you have this enabled, not disabled, and this is gonna trigger when you publish a blog post. You can also add your feature image of your blog post there. Make sure that that is a PNG or a JPEG. Unfortunately, Google My Business doesn't accept a PN, a WebP file, but that's okay. As long as you're uploading the post, it's really, really good. That's not the only way you can automate your blog post, by the way. We also teach how to turn your blog post into different social media posts like LinkedIn, Pinterest posts, Facebook posts, and Instagram posts, and even how to create through an automation, a really high quality image using a call request to things like Flux or the gpt 40 image generator. This is great to expand your digital footprint because SEO is turning more from search engine optimization to search everything optimization, meaning you want to try and be as many places at once, ideally without having to do too much work. And these are the types of automations that we teach in our community, the AI ranking school community, where we show you how to leverage AI and automations like this one to rank number one on Google, on Perplexity and GPT search. If you're interested, you can try it out, by the way, risk-free for seven days. I'll leave the link in the description for you below. If you don't like it, let me know. I'll refund you 100%. And that is it. If you found value in this video, all I ask is that you hit the like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I publish content like this all the time to help you automate SEO with AI to help you rank higher. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.